Lawrence Livermore Lab is a nuclear lab that is owned and run by the Department of Defense until October of 2007. The lab had been run by the University of California at Berkeley. That changed when the Bush administration decided to privatize the lab. The private company was the Bechtel Corporation. May 22nd, 2008, 440 good long-term workers are laid off at the lab. Now these are people, incidentally, that had security clearances. They work for a nuclear lab. They marched them out. They had sheriffs there. They had the local security. They had people with guns. That's the way they treated loyal, hard-working employees. By order of the federal government, they were supposed to be laid off in inverse order of seniority. Instead, they laid off consistently older workers and left younger and temporary workers in their place. The only reason they were laid off was because the Bechtel Corporation had to lay off these workers in order to fulfill a promise to the federal government that they would save them $50 million a year for three years. The University of California charged about $7 million per year. Bechtel increased that by $40 million per year. Now, how do you possibly save $150 million when you've done that. You lay off the workers that were older and of course earning more money and keep the ones that are earning less money. It was done on the backs of the working people. These people who'd worked at that lab for so long were laid off in May of 08, at the beginning of the worst recession that most of them have seen in their entire lifetime. A great many of them had to file for bankruptcy. They lost their homes. Their life became in shambles. It was a very, very difficult time for these people. Of the 440 who were laid off, 130 of them filed a lawsuit. And that launched into a litigation that took seven years against a firm that had 200 times as many lawyers as we did. We analyzed 300,000 documents, took over 100 depositions, and litigated this case intensively before it finally settled on September 30th, 2015. I think the thing that concerned us more than almost anything was the consistent attempt to delay this case for years and years. The only reason was to put pressure on these older clients to fold and take a cheap settlement. This was done by the federal government, by the Bechtel Corporation, by the lawyers involved. I thought it was wrong. Frankly, I thought it was unethical. When you come down to fundamental fairness in the workplace, dealing with people honestly and fairly, I think these are issues that that resonate nationally to everybody. A lawsuit shows that you can take on the big guys and fight them and win. Almost all of our clients, after seven years, are proud of being involved in this, that they were standing up for their rights and the rights of many other people in the workplace. And so many of them did it for this reason. They said, I hope this never happens to somebody else.